the Oh my god, you will never believe what I just heard. Did you find out what happened to Joe's first wife? Well, no. It's better than that. I overheard Al on the phone talking about his plans for Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, man, you're going on about this again? Are you sure it's for you and not one of Al's other girls? I throw a frickin' drink, Lucy, but I'm in a good mood right now. You know plenty about being the other woman, don't you, Lucy? What is this, wife number four for months? She's wife number two, thank you. At least you have a husband. I'm pretty sure Al killed mine. Oh, don't worry, honey, he's very much alive. Will you tell him to call me? I miss him. Please, ladies, I'm not done with my story. Now, I don't know what Al has planned exactly, but you know I hate surprises. So we gotta find out. So what are we gonna do? We can put a title on it. Yeah, so that's how Valentine's Day is gonna roll, Bobby. No, his ass will be gone. No, I'm, I'm sick of Bugs. I'm sick of him. He's friggin' gone. <clears throat> oh, hey, Mr. Ness. Come on in. Hey, sweetheart. So I know you have been working here for very long, but we did uh, Benjamin and I decided that we trust you enough to put you on a very special project. I'm flattered, but what kind of project are we looking at? As you know, Dollface, I've been doing some research on Al Capone, the big gangster, you know? Mm -hmm. So, we've come up with an idea where we think we can finally put him behind bars once and for all. That's fantastic, but what does that have to do with me? Funny you should ask. Benjamin and I decided that you're going to be one of our new undercover agents. Undercover? Mr. Ness? I think you have me confused. I'm Rosie, your new secretary. That's exactly the point, sugar. You're just... you enough just to pull it off. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to doll you up to make you look a little bit more like the mob wives, but you're just what I... I mean, we are looking for. I'm flattered. Really, I am. I just... All we need you to do is go to the diner on Main and 7th Street. May and all the other mob wives are located- But what do I tell them? I'm a terrible liar! You don't even have to worry about a thing, darling. They will do all of the talking for you. All you have to do is just sit, look at them, smile, and nod. I just- Alright, perfect. You're in. So, we already have a dress for you and everything, and then we'll go take you to makeup, and you can get dolled up, and we'll send you off. Sound good? So we were sitting on this bed, and this guy walked by, and I'm like, bam, you know? I'm like, oh, yeah. Hey, ladies. Well, aren't you just the cutest little thing? Cute, being a relative term. Oh, be nice, be nice. You must be Joe's new girl. All right, uh, what was your name again? I... Oh, that's Candy, I, you dumb Dora. I'm so sorry, Patricia's always been so terrible with names. Oh, right, Candy. Well, we're just having some brunch. Can we get you a mimosa? Joyce, you! Get out of here. Go find your husband. I don't know. So how's old Joe doing? Oh, Joe's fine. You guys aren't having any problems? We heard he got a mean street. No, he's been a perfect gentleman. I was with him last night. Oh. <laughs> that must mean you're a new toy, Candy. Well, I don't... Wait, you were with him last night? Did he say anything about Valentine's Day? Oh, this again. No, he didn't say anything. I'm sorry. Why do you ask? We were just doing some regular old detective work before you got here. My boy Al has something planned for Valentine's Day, and I just can't figure out what it is. I could get my Donnie to ask Al if you're really that curious, May. We all know Donnie wouldn't know a thing. If you really want to know some news, you practically have to have a beer with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Candy, baby, how do you feel about doing me a favor? You know, as friends. It'll be no biggie. All you have to do uh, is... No. You got something to say? All I'm saying is you're not very good at repaying favors. Candy, you don't want to do anything for her. She's good for nothing. Just like her husband. Excuse me? <laughs> hey! I'm not in a good mood no more. Let's get out of here before I do something all my friends. She's dead. Something you regret, you won't live to regret it, Lucy. Just 
Just a regular Saturday candy. Aren't you glad you came to brunch? So glad. All right, here you go, honey. Take this. I feel like an idiot. This is never gonna fool them. You're fine, you're fine. You look great, I bet. Just come out on here and let me see, let me see. I'm gonna be real. I have no idea what I've gotten myself into. I don't know where I am. I don't know who these women are. And somebody better call Elliot. Candy! Come get your mustache! Oh, you look great, honey. You're gonna fool them all. All you have to do is go get me some information about Valentine's Day, okay? Okay. Are you sure it's not obvious? I think this might be the worst idea I ever had. I hope she makes it out of there alive. That mustache is not fooling anybody. So it's been about uh, eight hours since I last heard from Rosie. Should I be concerned? Can I get you a beer, champ? Yeah, that would, that would be great. Be careful over that one. And your mustache is crooked. And so, this girl. Who the hell are you? I, I'm. I recognize you. You, you do? You're Lenny's cousin, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Oh, good to see you, Tommy. How's your old man? I, he's good, I think. Oh, why don't you join us for a drink? Okay. Nice to meet you, Tommy. I'm Al. That's Jimmy, Bobby, Fonzie, and that bastard over there is Bugs. Ah, uh, yours, Al, you impotent prick. He was just talking about our ladies. You chasing any gals? Yeah, uh, all of them. Speaking of, do we have any plans for, um, Valentine's Day? Who the fuck is this kid? I want to know what he knows. I want to know if he knows what I know. Get the, get the friggin' camera out of my face. Hey, Tommy, want to go up for a city? A cigar, you prick. Yeah, sure. Sure. Who the hell are you? What, what are you talking about? Some kind of rat, some kind of snitch. What? Some, some creep looking out for bugs. I'm not working for anybody. Guess what? Bugs is done after Valentine's Day. He's over. You understand me? Yeah, I just... I'll kill you! Capiche? So we got the place, we got the time, we got everything, all our knowledge is set up, and uh, oh, Rosie's doing okay too. It's it's a little hard to ha find a new secretary in this town, it can be a little rough, but we'll get Al, I swear. Where the hell is Capone? Oh, I think he's at dinner with May. Rosie, what are you doing here? Get that off your face. Wait a second. Tommy's been a girl the entire time? Can we go on a date or something? Oh my god. Yeah. Take these clowns to the station. I'm gonna go and find Capone. Al Capone, you're under arrest. Hey, what you? Guess things have gone sour, honey. Indeed they have. Let's take Al to the station. I told you I hate surprises! I want my phone. Give me some information on Valentine's Day. You look great, honey. I don't... <laughs> Let's go get me some information on Valentine's Day. I mean, okay, but are you sure it's not obvious? <laughs> look great. I mean, okay, but are you... Go for it. <laughs> you practically have to have a beer with the boys. <laughs> I can't wait. I, I don't know. Grab, you could grab his hands. <laughs> I want to know what he knows. Does he know what I know? Because I don't think he does. <laughs> hey, Tommy. Wanna go up for a prick? <laughs> okay. 